Hi guys, um, I just want to say a few things about my fiance Helen and how she is and um, how people can judge her um, as a character. Um, people always judge Helen the wrong way and I get extremely angry about that because nobody knows Helen like I do. Um, Helen has a heart of gold and I really do mean a heart of gold. She uses her heart of gold in a way to care about people, love people and she loves the hell out of me and she cares the hell out of me as well. She does so much for me. Um, I've got back issues, I've got neck issues, I've got epilepsy and I have a lot of other issues going on and Helen has always been there through thick and thin with me. Um, and I will move heaven and earth for her and she will do the same for me and people out there judge her and they judge her the wrong way they should always judge people by what's inside them not on what's on the outside ever and people who are judgmental about things don't be because you can't just judge somebody what's on the outside and laugh or um, take the mickey out of people because that's just wrong. Um, what you should what you should think about is what's on the inside of people, and in, inside Helen is unbelievable. It's just you know I've never known anything like it, and I'm 50 years old, and I've never had anything like that in my life. So I'm really happy to be with Helen. I've been with Helen now officially for four years and it's been the best four years I've ever, ever experienced. And I'm the happiest person with Helen I've ever been. I don't care about anything else. I just care about my fiance and my lover, Helen. Um, she's been braver for the last couple of weeks, going to the dentist and that and having what she's had done. Um, you know, she doesn't like going there out at all even. And she went out, she coped really well um, on the buses and things like that that we went out on. And I, I am so proud of her. I've always been proud of everything she's done and what she's achieved. Um, and she's always been there for me. And she, she, uh, uh, and Helen will move heaven and earth for anybody, um, given the chance. You get three chances with Helen, really. Um, but you get one chance with me. If you judge Helen the wrong way, then you cross my path and you just don't like that at all because I can get very cross about that and it's just wrong. You never judge people like that. You can't. And the best, the best thing I can ever say is people with our mental health issues that we have going on, um, with the self-harming issues and things like that, people take a look at you and they go like this and and they think to yourselves, well, look, there's something seriously wrong with you. I've got self-harm now for nearly two years, and that's a very good break for me. And it's all through Helen that's done that with me. She made me say I, that I had to promise that I wouldn't do any self-harming. She said, she said, promise me that you try, not, not actually don't do it. And that's a good way forward for anybody that's doing that. Promise that you try not to do something like that. Think about something else. And when I get annoyed, when I get angry, Helen will come over to me and she'll do this on my head. And it calms me right down. And she does that all the time. See what I mean about her caring? That's what she does all the time. She's there for me. And that's what she does. She just cares for me all the time. And she's thinking about me all the time as well. She doesn't think about herself. She doesn't put herself at first. She puts everyone else here first. She's not selfish. She's not arrogant. She's not nasty. She's not vindictive at all, at anything like that. She's the most caring, loving, beautiful, wonderful, absolutely gorgeous inside person you could ever wish to come across so i'm going to leave this now 
and I'm just going to say to Helen that I love you so, so much, and it is forever. Alright, so I love you. Bye.